It's been three years since we first told you of a grisly crime in Columbiana County. A woman was murdered and the grandson she was raising was left, but barely alive. Although investigators say they have a suspect, no one's ever been charged. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti has a First News follow-up. Eight-year-old Cole Reed looks like any other second grader. He's a great kid. He strives for what happened to him. We're, we're blessed with him. But three years ago, Cole was savagely beaten inside this house near Salem, where he lived with his maternal grandmother, Mindy Todd. She was killed. Authorities say both had been attacked with a hammer. It was, it was like somebody was massacred in the house. It was on the walls, on the ceiling. Elmer Milson is Cole's step-grandfather. He's also his adoptive dad. Both the boy's biological parents are in prison now. His mother, Miranda, was convicted of killing one of her other children. Cole knows we love him, and it's the first stable family Cole's ever had in his whole life. Although Columbiana County Sheriff's detectives tell me they do have a person of interest in the case, which they believe was drug-related, no arrests have been made, no indictments handed up. You know, they need to get their act together. There's too many um, unsolved cases in Columbiana County, and it's just not right. It's not right at all. These things do take a while. And... Sheriff Ray Stone tells me his staff turned their case over to prosecutors some time ago, and when nothing happened, he asked agents with the Ohio BCI to take another look. At this time, they, they tell us that we did not miss anything. Stone says detectives resubmitted their files about a month ago, but still haven't heard anything from prosecutor Bob Heron or his staff. It's frustrating to us and our detectives and the whole office because we, you know, they put a lot of man hours into, you know, investigating every little lead that comes in. Repeated calls to Heron's office were not returned today. In the meantime, Milson tells me after three surgeries and months of physical therapy, Cole still goes to counseling twice a month. He, he has nightmares and that sometimes. While his family waits for justice. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.